Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new review video. So today we're talking about Bravo Concealment. Uh, specifically, we're talking about this holster here. This is their Torsion holster. It's brand new for 2017. It came out at SHOT Show and uh, it's pretty cool, man. They've done some really kind of innovative things with it. We're gonna get to the holster in just a minute. First of all, I wanna mention that this holster is only out in a limited release right now. So it's out for like the compact Glock. So Glock 19, 23, and 32. Uh, it's only out in black, but uh, as I understand, it will be released uh, in the future in more models and colors and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, man, I'm really excited to talk about this holster. I've been wearing it the last couple weeks, like I always do with new products to uh, really kind of give you some real world uh, reviews and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that go into all the tech specs and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we'll go into a little bit of that, but what I really like to say is just the feel of it, how it feels to carry all day. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's start off with the packaging. You guys know I'm a big fan of packaging and just if they're putting some, some effort into uh, the, the presentation and stuff like that, I think it shows a lot of pride in their product. Uh, so this is the box that it comes in, uh, just kind of a normal, I don't know, like a toy box or something. It's nice though, it, you know, it, it looks good, it looks professional. Uh, they've got kind of some of their different holsters on the back, um, different accessories, stuff like that. The uh, the holster itself comes like attached to like a piece of hard paper or something in there. Uh, it looks fine, you know, it's, it's nothing special, but it gets the job done certainly. And then inside here, we've got uh, a simple instruction manual. So really this is all this is doing is telling you how to hook up the belt loops and uh, the soft belt loops. If you, those are like additional accessories. Uh, this came like this, it was fully assembled, which was nice. Um, but I guess if you wanna switch between the two, this kind of just tells you how. But that's really all the instruction manual gives you. Um, in addition to the instruction manual, you do get a little bit of swag. So you've got some uh, like stickers here with their logo on it, as well as a morale patch, which I think is pretty cool. You know, I think uh, I like getting swag when I order a product. If it's something I really like, uh, I like to you know represent and stuff like that. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. Now let's get into the holster itself. So like I mentioned, this is the DOS Torsion Holster by Bravo Concealment. This is the DOS Torsion Holster by Bravo Concealment. As you can see, it's very, very, very light, very thin. Uh, it's, a, it's a Kydex holster, obviously, and it's made. this one's made for the Glock 19. So you can see, if I throw this in here, just how minimal it is. It adds like no mass to this gun, uh, which is really, really cool. A couple interesting, innovative things they've done with this holster. First of all, let's talk about uh, right here, if I can get this angle right for you, and you can see in there. Um, so they've kind of raised this section here so that if you have like extended taller sights, those will fit nicely in there. And then on the front here, you can actually get a threaded barrel through there, which is nice because uh, especially where they're making them for Glocks, you know, tons of people have really modded out Glocks and it gives you the option of using those sights and threaded barrel with this holster. Um, the next thing they did, which I think is kind of their big claim to fame with this holster, they say that they have a 10 degree kind of inward slant on the holster and what this does is it allows it to uh, sit even closer to your body um, I have to say first of all I will say while wearing this over the last two weeks it does feel very very close to your body like I just kind of attributed it to the fact that it was so slim like look at this if I put this holster in here you can see how form-fitting this thing is like it, it like if I go like this it doesn't even look like it's a holster it's just molded perfectly, really, really tightly to this gun. Um, so when I was wearing it, I didn't actually know about the 10, the 10 degree thing because I wanted to wear it without doing any research on it and, and kind of get my thoughts. Um, and I will say it feels very, very close to you. It feels like it's sort of, it's sitting pretty low on your waist and you're not worried about printing. Um, so come to find out that it's the 10 degree cant that's, that's kind of making the gun, I guess, sit a little bit closer to your body. I don't really know the science behind that, uh, but I will say that it does feel like it's closer to your body, which is pretty cool. Um, another awesome thing they did was they allow for a lot of adjustability. So first up on these two belt loops. Uh, you can rock the hard belt loops or they have soft belt loop options. Uh, those are additional, by the way. Um, but uh, they have six different options on where you can put the, uh, the screw right here and they have four different options underneath this belt clip, which is pretty cool because it allows you to give the option of sitting, the holster sitting straight up and down in your pants or really kind of getting a forward cant going. Um, the other thing that the instructions say, if you go onto their website and stuff like that and look up this holster, uh, it says you can just remove this smaller one if you wanna go with just a, a single clip holster, you can do that. One other nice thing about uh, if you just run the single clip is you can see there's a little bit of room between the clip. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm lifting this clip. There's a little bit of room between the clip and the, uh, the holster since it's just screwed down here, right? So if you're just running the single clip, you can actually run kind of a tuck and go style. So you can still tuck your shirt in and uh, only this clip is gonna be exposed. So let's talk about the draw. Uh, while it does sit you know, close to your body and stuff like that, the uh, retention on this thing, first of all, 
is solid. I mean, you know, the gun's not going anywhere unless you intentionally are holding it and pulling this gun out. Um, the draw's a little stiff for me. There isn't any tension adjustment that I can figure out on this thing. So normally you'll have a screw somewhere that you can kind of adjust how much this, this holster will clamp down on a gun. This one specifically uh, is just Kydex to Kydex all the way around. So regardless of how tight you tighten these things, I don't think that they're gonna do anything for the tension on the holster. Um, uh, if it was up to me, I'd like a little bit looser retention so that my draw is a little bit cleaner. But overall, if I'm gonna have to stay on one side or the other with no tension adjustments, uh, they, I think they obviously made the right choice so the gun's not falling out on you or anything like that. Um, it's, it's certainly very secure, let's put it that way. Another benefit of it being Kydex is that it holds its shape. So obviously, you know, it'll, it'll hold its shape for one-handed draws, reholstering, dry fire practice, practice at the range, stuff like that. So uh, it's a good holster, man, it really is. If I had any downsides to this thing, it's gonna be the comfort. Now, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Kydex holsters in general. Like if I have the option, I'm almost always gonna go with something like a hybrid holster, just for the fact of comfort. But I get that like having a leather backer or something for them drives up the price, right? It's expensive, it, it, leather's expensive, they need different machines, different tools, stuff like that. So, it, it, so doing just a pure Kydex holster definitely gives them the option to keep prices lower, uh, which, you know, is a good thing. But the Kydex backer does dig into my skin a little bit. Uh, there are a couple pressure points, specifically this top portion. And every Kydex holster I've ever worn for a Glock 19 does the same thing. They all dig into my side. So it's not necessarily specific to this one. Uh, I will say this is probably the most comfortable all Kydex holster I've ever worn. So that's good. Uh, but honestly, if, if this was gonna be my primary holster, the one that I was gonna wear every single day in and out, I'd run to Walmart or I'd run to like a fabric store and uh, I just like coat the back of this thing in like some felt or some soft fabric. Just take like a glue gun or I don't know, something. And specifically over this top, maybe just wrap it a little bit and just go along this back side. And then uh, I think it'd be a lot comfier that way. Um, not to say it's necessarily uncomfortable, uh, but I think it would be even more comfortable if you just took the time to, you know, smooth this back out a little bit, make it a little more comfortable. So anyways, that's my, uh, my review on the Bravo Concealment DOS Torsion Holster for the Glock Compact series. Uh, it's a good holster, man. I, I really, I think it's a, a great design, very, very minimalistic. I love how tight it is to the gun. I love how it doesn't add any extra mass to the gun when it's sitting on your side. Um, it, overall, I'm really happy with this thing. So price-wise, this thing is listed on their website for $69.99 US dollars, by the way. They're out of Texas. They're all uh, in-house, USA-made, manufactured, all that stuff. So uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, $69.99, I guess that's fairly average for a good quality Kydex holster. It seems a bit high to me. Um, I don't know. I, I was thinking maybe something more like 50 would be a, a little bit more... I don't know, accessible. The one thing I need to mention about this is there is a unlimited, it says, lifetime warranty. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know what that covers really. I didn't look into it, but I, you know, if there's any manufacturer defects, obviously I think they're gonna replace it. If this thing gets beat up or whatever, you know, lifetime replacements, I would assume. Don't quote me on that, but it does say on the box. In fact, let me look it up right here. Boom, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but Bravo Concealment Holsters, lightweight, durable, and carry an unlimited lifetime warranty. Lifetime is what's in quotes. Um, I don't know the specifics of it, but that is pretty cool. So I guess that really does kind of hire the price a little bit. Uh, so 70 bucks, but you've got a holster for life. Yeah, man, I'm pretty happy with this holster. It's something that I'm gonna keep wearing. Uh, you know, I've got my other hybrid holster that I use all the time, but you know, as soon as summer hits, that leather backer does start to get pretty hot on your skin. So uh, I think this would be a good option. These guys are from Texas. So uh, I think a little bit of that all Kydex thing definitely comes in handy when you're in the hotter states. Big thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Green Light Shooting. Check out these other two videos if you haven't seen them and uh, we'll see you next week.